Um, several events will commemorate the contributions and sacrifices of our veterans. Of course, this coming after parades and remembrances had to shift to virtual formats last year because of the pandemic. But this year, on the 100th anniversary of the Royal Oak Parade and the city's anniversary, officials wanted to honor those in the military who died for our freedoms in a very personal and public way. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is joining us live in downtown Royal Oak with a look ahead at this. Good morning, Jennifer Ann. Good morning. It is going to be a big day and the day has already begun. We've seen a number of people coming by and cleaning the sidewalks and the streets. Now we're seeing vehicles like this one coming by with cones and barricades to begin to block off the streets and just down by the light there by Lincoln in Maine. You can see the beginnings of a float have arrived. You're going to see more arrivals very, very soon for this very special Memorial Day. It's the 100 year anniversary for the city of Royal Oak and the 100th year for the city's Memorial Day Parade. The chairman of Royal Oak Veterans Events Committee, David London, says they are going big. We have probably no less than 13 original World War II Rosies that are going to be on this float. And we have two sets of Royal, Rosie the Riveter uh, drill teams who are going to be marching and, and alongside as well. At 9.15, we have a flyover from Team Tuskegee, actual World War II aircraft that are going to be flying over the parade route, doing several passes back and forth, um, all the while that the parade's going on. So, uh, you know, after a year of being cooped up inside and not being able to get out and, 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 and having to cancel the parade for the first time in 100 years, we said we've got to go big on this one. The parade route starts on Main Street at Lincoln at 9 a.m. Then it travels to 3rd Street, then heads to City Hall, where there'll be a ceremony when the parade ends. They are encouraging everyone who attends the Memorial Day parade and ceremony to avoid crowding and clustering to respect personal space and maintain distance. As a veteran himself, having served in the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division, David London wants to emphasize today isn't about the veterans. Memorial Day is about those who sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. What I would hope that people take away from it is that these aren't, you know, uh, these aren't mythic heroes. They're just average everyday people who do extraordinary things. These people fought and died for their country so that we can have the freedoms that we enjoy today. Now, there are a couple of floats that still need some decoration, so you can see the platforms beginning to arrive. The people will follow shortly after and begin to get those floats ready to go. As you heard, some very special guests here today, and those barricades will be coming up to block off Main Street and some of those side streets. It all begins at 9 a.m. Reporting live in Royal Oak, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Jen.